What is up YouTube, Valentine's Closet, back and you want to get another video. Today I'm going to be bringing you a video that's inside of my room. I don't want to go outside right now because of the sunlight that's slowly going away. I feel like we have a good little vibe thing that's going on into the room, so I figured it's a good spot to record. Um, I don't, I don't have my mic on because I wasn't really feeling the audio in terms of recording a clothing video that's like, you know, like close up. Cause that mic is specifically for like pranks so it's really good with distance therefore i know how to use it in terms of recording a video outside when it comes to like a pranking video or whatever but i don't know how to use it in terms of a review if that makes any sense i had it too close to my mouth and the camera like that yeah i feel like i figured that it'd be better for me just to record in the room raw without the um the mic or anything but today i'm gonna have a fury guy video um i don't really i see a good amount of videos about these shoes uh I would say out and ever whatever but i figured this would be just a good time to record something now just because i have them in my closet and i don't see any reviews of this colorway that's on youtube so let's get it started this is a video of the overcast gray very god military sneaker um this was purchased from kith oh crap i hit myself in the face i did not buy it from kith but they were purchased in at kith by the seller it was by some girl that i believe her husband didn't want them anymore or whatever i think it was some girl some of the shoes but um, she sold me them for like $725. I don't see why people don't feel comfortable with sharing a price. Like, I'm not embarrassed to tell you guys how much it is. Uh, the shoe re resells, it was reselling for like one point for like 2 k The original price was about $1,200, $1,300, and I got it for $725. Dead stock, brand new, everything. Um, OG laces and everything. So, let's go ahead and crack the shoe open. Have you guys look at this, so when you guys get a pair for yourself, you guys are going to know what you guys are looking for in terms of numbers and in terms of the size tag and what it looks like and everything. So, there goes that. I'll I'll have more overlay shots while I'm talking and shit. So you guys can check that out. Uh, so yeah, so you're gonna open up the box. The box is huge. It's freaking massive. It's gonna come with three pairs of laces. So you're gonna get your roll up laces, which are gonna be in cream and gray. And you're gonna get another pair of laces, which are gonna be cream. I didn't know the laces were gonna be so thick and so big, but they are. So yeah, they came with that. Came with a crap ton of tissue paper. I'm gonna go ahead and take out one shoe. And in the overlays, you're gonna see me holding up both shoes. Um, and also the reason why I'm recording this inside is because I don't want to go outside and record it because like I said these shoes are dead stock I have not worn them yet. Do I plan on wearing them? Yes, but I don't want I don't plan on wearing them um, and Honestly now until I get a second pair of military sneakers because when I held this shoe it I literally just I'm just gonna get to it So for now here's the shoe so far it looks amazing. I'm gonna put it to the side right here Let me put this down the box comes with uh you know your uh, paper bag quality it feels like it's made out of linen really really light this fear of God it's just quality, quality stuff. A shit ton of paper bags, your laces and everything. Let me go ahead and put this to the side right here. So that's good on with the shoe. So here's the sneaker. It usually, when you buy it, it's gonna come in this plastic bag. If you're gonna buy it brand new, it's gonna come in this plastic bag. I think Jerry could be doing the same thing with the basketball team he's coming out with. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of like the Chicago colorway, the bread colorway, and even the Royal colorway when it comes out. Um, I do need a pair of other ones, but I'm gonna get the ones instead of getting like a Sailor Moran like Royal or or um, uh, Fear God Royal, but to go over the shoe, I definitely want to get a military sneaker before I get on the Fear God shoe. Here it is. Holding this shoe, it literally feels like nothing but quality. Um, everything. Like, I'm not trying to size Fear of God. I'm not trying to size Jerry Lorenz. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys something that's because it's hype. Like, all these reviews are legit reviews. I'm not going to over-exaggerate anything. I'm not going to size anything just because it's hot. Just because it's Gucci, I'm not going to tell you it's amazing quality. If it's shit, I'm going to tell you it's shit. If it's great, I'm going to tell you it's great. This is a great shoe. Just like my St. Laurent military, my St. Laurent um, whites. Great shoe, quality on point. These quality on point. Represent, it could be better um, for the price. You're paying a really good, really good price for the shoe, but of course it could be better. These are perfect. Um, I had no problem. There's no blemish on the suede. The suede or the new buck runs back and forth when I run my fingers on it. Um, and the inside it comes with a crap ton of paper. There's a crap ton of paper here and a crap ton of paper on the neck just to support so that you won't get the wrinkles and, and stuff easily. The strap on the top, um, let's just go ahead and break it down, man. So we're gonna start from the bottom. You have this huge, chunky, huge sole. Obviously expired by Rick Goins, the shark teeth at the bottom, but the sole is just huge in this thing. It definitely puts a couple weights on your feet. It kind of reminds me like when Rock Lee was fighting Gara in the training exams, um, how he had those weights on his feet and when he took them off, 
like when they hit the ground and it had two big ass explosions. Like it's kind of like how these are. You take these off your bed when you're about to when you're about to go to the room and then lay it down for your girlfriend and you throw these joints around the room and then they're gonna knock the freaking TV down on the wall because these joints are so freaking heavy. Like that's how this shit is. Like, it's just crazy. On some shoes it's gonna be uh, like a gum material or it's gonna be like gum and cream at the bottom. Um, now what I recommend you guys to do if you guys get the gum pair, so watch out because those can get scuffed really easily. So be aware of that before you buy guys buy that um uh, pair that has the gum sole. My friend Andy has it and Hopefully, I'll be able to record um, the review for that for your guy military sneaker here. Um, he beats those up. He wears them like every day. And that's what I plan on doing with these when I get my second pair. Well, actually, not with these. Um, when I get my second pair, I plan on beating those up. These ones, since the colorways are so hot, it's so amazing. I only want to wear it like, you know, every now and then. But anyways, so have the cream sole. Awesome. Chunky. The stitching on the outside is amazing. It's perfect. I cannot complain with any of that at all. It's just perfect stitching. There's no loose thread. There's no hang stitch. None of that anywhere. It's just perfectly done. The sole is perfectly glued and stitched to the shoe. Like, I don't see anything popping out nothing abnormal now to go over the new buck and the suede it's extremely soft it feels like a brand new eraser like a scholastic eraser they used like to like erase all the wrong answers on my test sheet for algebra 2 and trig like that because <laughs> i would get nothing correct i hate that class this is what it's this is what it feels like. This feels like an, like a brand new eraser. Um, now to go over the immediate side, it's usually the same thing. You're gonna see a bunch of panels right here, um, a bunch of panels on the opposite end as well. Um, on this side, on the neck, you're gonna see the Riri zipper on the immediate side. High quality, heavy duty zipper. Um, when putting the shoe on, you wanna make sure it's zipped down all the way. So like I said, with the wide to end, and you wanna make sure um, with the represent too, that you want to make sure the zipper is all the way down because you don't want to pop it open try to put your, your shoe when it's halfway you move up all the way to the neck you're going to have the strap and you're going to have the tongue personally i like it with the strap on so that's why i'm going to keep it on also you're going to have your shoelaces which i thought were a lot more thicker i didn't know this they're this thick in person but they came with the gray uh laces on um the tongue is made out of the same suede um quality same thing with the strap around the neck and the tag at the back and in the back Right here, it says Fear of God. I'm gonna have that zoomed in, you guys can see it. At the top, it's made out of the same kind of eraser filling nubuck, but towards the bottom, it's made out of that cask and leather. Extremely, extremely buttery and soft. It's an amazing, amazing shoe. I can't do an outfit, I can't do an on foot outside because of me trying to keep these dead stock. I feel like if I wear it outside once and I see one little dirt mark on it, then I'm just gonna be like, fuck it and just wear it. So to prevent me from doing that, I'm going to prevent me from doing that. I'm going to be um, just keeping it dead stock. I have a couple pants options to put on too, like I have them on inside, but I'm gonna be walking like a penguin because I just don't want to wear these until I get a second pair. Um, I'm looking for the money green pair. I see one on girl for like 500 um, dead stock, or I think one like once or twice, so I might pick that up. But money green pair, the OG pair, the black and white pair or the um, Maxfield pair are four pairs that I'm looking for right now. I'm not really interested in any other colorways. Um, the brown and uh, the brown, white, and gum pair is also a pair I'm looking for too. But other than that, I'm not really looking for any other pair. This is my favorite right here. These you can wear with your skinny jeans. It has a really slender look to it, so you can wear it with your skinny jeans. You can wear it with your baggy jeans. I plan on wearing it with baggy cargos from Rick Owens, baggy cargos from Rothko from Urban Outfitters. You can wear it with shorts, just on shorts, off-white shorts, all that good stuff. I think it'll be a good look, because this looks like a basketball sneaker already, so I think it'll be a good look wearing a, a baggy t-shirt, tuck it in with your off-white shorts that are like right above the knee. The basketball shorts, um, if, you're into, if you're into off-white, I'm wearing off-white hoodie right now, the Metal Heights uh, hoodie, um, if you guys are wondering what the hoodie this is. But yeah, um, Jerry put out some shoes. He did a restock on Fear Guy last year for Christmas or for Black Friday, and he was selling them all for half price. So if you guys are looking for a good time to buy them, um, I'll wait around the end of the year and the holiday to buy them at like a slip at an actual retailer from after God. Um, you can buy them uh, aftermarket on Grail for prices anywhere from around four to I'll say a thousand dollars. It really depends on the colorway and depends on the condition. This one in particular, I've been seeing go from anywhere from seven fifty for pairs that we use a couple times to I would say like two thousand um, for dead stock pairs. Um, usually, I would see them around twelve, thirteen hundred for dead stock pairs. Um, I got extremely lucky. I'm a size 45, size 12. I could fit that anywhere from 11 to a 12. So I got really lucky with these. In terms of size, I feel like the smaller sizes are gonna fit a whole size bigger. Now, sizes that are size 11 and up, I feel like they're just gonna sit, they're, they're just gonna fit true to size. That's honestly how it was for me. Um, these fit true to size. They didn't fit as big as the people said they were. That's the people were saying they're like two sizes bigger. They, didn't, they don't feel like CG Converse. 
so they're not gonna fit that big. So if you guys are looking for these shoes, um, if you're a bigger size from 11 and up, go true to size. Um, if not, if you're below that, then I'll just recommend going down half a size. If not, just go true to size to be safe. Awesome quality shoe. If you guys have the money laying around, I recommend you guys pick these up. They're incredible. Literally wear these with anything and everything. You can get the military look down. Sexy, awesome, amazing shoe. I love it. I can kiss the bottle because I haven't worn them. I can do that because I haven't worn these shoes yet. But uh, but yeah, awesome shoe. That's pretty much everything. Um, quality, amazing. Price, it's expensive, but if you can find the right price, the right deal, I would say go for it. Anything around 700 don't don't look back. Just pay for it and buy it. Be happy. Don't look back. Um, the fakes, they're really easy to tell if they're fake or not. Um, I can do a whole separate video about that if you guys want me to. Yeah, that's the shoe amazing shoe Thank you guys for watching for tuning in um anything else you guys want me to react to let's say react i'm too used to the cameras like this when i'm making a reaction video if you anything else you guys want me to review in my closet just comment down below or just message me on my instagram um soon i'm going to be having a giveaway um when i hit 10,000 um until i hit 10,000 followers on ig so i'm going to be having a giveaway till then and everyone that follows me um, up from this point or the point that I announced to give away and I'm ready to do it to the point of 10,000 followers I'm going to be doing a giveaway so be sure to follow me to check out on that and I love you guys for supporting me the main channel and the reaction channel are in the description box below and you guys are wondering why I haven't posted a video on my reaction channel on my, on my actual channel lately it's because I'm dropping the prank I don't want to keep bullshitting and then not drop a prank so that's gonna be dropping soon anything else you guys want me to review be sure to comment down below or message me on my Instagram like I said, amazing shoe. I'm sorry if I look a little crushed right now it's because I did not shower and I feel a little dirty. So I'm sorry if I'm talking weird because I'm kind of tired right now. Uh, the day was my resting day, but I decided just to get up and record something anyways. Um, I guess it's just a workaholic in me and I'm trying to blow up this year. So yeah, um, yeah. so anything you guys want me to um, review, comment down below or message me on my Instagram or my Twitter. Um, be sure to follow me there, all my social media, and the video and the comment box below. Love you guys. Peace out positive like always. Um, page to save pockets. I'm sorry for another video. Six with my woes. You know how that shit go.